today we are going to an event a little bit later with Blake and John. We're gonna go hang out. The boys are having a boys day and the girls are having a girls day and then we're gonna meet back up for dinner. I'm gonna close this window. So the boys are gonna go golfing, which Clayton's been getting a lot of golf in, good for him. The boys love that. Me and Blake, I think, are maybe gonna like plan some stuff for her wedding. Or like, um, I don't know, I have no idea what that entails. But like, if she wants my opinion or my two cents on anything, I'll help her out. I don't know what it's like to plan a wedding. I'm, I've seen a couple of my friends do it now and I'm like, looks intense, but I still don't really get exactly what it is, I guess. So, yeah. That's what the girls are gonna be doing. And then we're gonna go to dinner, the four of us. And then we're gonna go to the event and the outfit that I have for the event. But first, this outfit that was in our Valentine's Day reel that you guys loved is so cute and so comfy for lounging. I'll link it below. But anyways, the outfit that I'm wearing tonight is really cute. And the top that I got is like a strapless bustier type top. It looks a lot like this top that I wore two years ago for Halloween when I was Pamela Anderson. And that one was from Amazon or Shein or something. It was like so cheap and it barely stayed up because I'm obviously fuller chested. And this one that I got, I put it on and I was shooketh at how supportive it was. It was so nice. It's like a dream of a top if you're fully chested. And probably if you're not fully chested too because it just has this wiring in it that's like really sturdy so it just like stays it's so nice you guys but when i put it on it reminded me so much of pamela anderson because it looked like the one that i wore for the costume and i should start doing my makeup i'm talking to you guys oh but i still have to shower i'm gonna rinse my body off actually because my hair is still like from when i got a blowout and it's it has like one or two more days in it so i don't want to wash my hair but i need to shower my body so i'm not gonna start my makeup yet anyways the top reminded me so much of Pamela Anderson and since I got my hair done and my brows this past week for my glow up vlog, I have been getting some comments that I'm channeling Pam, which I'll take any day of the week. So the top was saying Pam, the comments were saying Pam and I was like, this is a moment. Like we are going to channel Pam today for this event. So I think I'm going to lean into that a little bit. Probably not like super dark eye makeup and I obviously don't have like very thin brows but I'm, I want to do something fun with the hair like a Pam updo maybe a little bit on the makeup so that's the plan but yeah I'm gonna rinse my body off and then get ready and I'll show you guys my outfit and everything okay guys preserved the blowout with my little shower cap and I have a trick that I have shared before, I think, on my Instagram, but I learned this on TikTok a couple years ago. You know how you can, like, wear a towel without it falling down? I used to never be able to do that. I don't know, like, I just couldn't get it. Like, I, I never once wore a towel without it falling down. And then I saw this TikTok that if you fold the towel outwards, like, and I, I can't do it too much right now. I can't give you a full tutorial. But instead of folding inwards, which is what you normally do, or what I always normally did, you fold it outwards, it literally doesn't move. Like this is not going anywhere. It's incredible. So thank you TikTok for one of the many things that you have enlightened me on. And also today we are partnering up with Brooklinen, which I have spoke about them so many times. You guys know all of our bedding and all of our rooms, even when we went to New York for a month we brought Brooklyn in there because it's literally the best stuff we're obsessed with them so super excited to be partnering with them today we use their towels in all of our bathrooms as well they are the freaking best they're so cozy so comfy they're super like thick and luxurious feeling it's like spa quality and they're great prices I also have a discount code for you guys it's Delaney C and it gets you $20 off of any order of $100 or more. So this is the move in bundle, which is one of the best ways to get their towels because you can like mix and match things and you're getting a bundle instead of the individual pieces, which is a really great way, especially if you're just need like a refresh or you're just moving and you want really nice towels. It comes with like a bath mat, the hand towels, the washcloths, these big towels and they're just I'm telling you, they're the best towels ever. I think Julia is actually the one that got us on to these towels. She knows. 
she knows. And I love these like darker colors, especially for self tanning season, which I'm currently in. Um, we have the white ones as well because I just love the look of a nice clean white towel. It makes me feel like I'm at a hotel or something. We have those, but for self tanning season, I love this color, graphite. And then we also, I need to wash these ones now, but we also have this color, which I'm blanking on the name, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, these are both a really nice like darker option and I think that they look really good in our bathroom they like match all of our decor and stuff I'll show you guys yeah they're just like they look so cute and they're so plush and so nice so can't recommend them enough as well as the bedding if you need good bedding we are obsessed with the bedding 10 out of 10 recommend the Lux sateen it's so soft and literally butter goals which we all love butter here we have this like really nice creamy color in it I'll put a picture of our bed here but also in our guest room we do just like the white i think and we've done their linen sheets we switched those out in the summer because they're really nice and like kind of just fit the vibe they're just also good i can't recommend enough so i'll link them for you guys and enjoy now let's turn into pam alexa play the 1975 pandora everywhere Guys, I didn't have the camera on when I just did this like button part because I was kind of just like brainstorming what to do for it. But then I actually really liked the way that it turned out, so I don't want to redo it because you know when you do a messy button and then it doesn't never. There's not even really a way to do a tutorial for a messy button. I feel like because they just are so random. But I kind of just like wrapped my hair all around and then put a hair tie over it and then like pulled pieces out. Like I think it can just be super messy. It's just, you know, bird's nest vibes, which is a bit of me for sure. I do this all the time. I've always loved really bird nesty buttons on my head. I am just fully, fully in costume right now at this point, I feel like, but I'm loving it. Got to head out. Second time golfing in the last three weeks. I know. I'm telling them they're getting time. some good golf time. Love that for you. Practice my stroke. Guys, look at my costume. Literally, it's Halloween. But like Pam is a mood. 24 7 365. It's 24 7 365. Boys and girls want to have fun. Isn't that so? Yeah, it goes just like that too. <laughs> it's hard to wear, so it's a bit right here though. Okay, so I'll link everything that I'm wearing, but this is the top I was talking about. It's slang for the girls. Looks so good, babe. No bra necessary. Thank you. And then I'm wearing jeans. And I put the boots over top, which I actually love that look. This little bag. My confession. It's a little pouch. Yeah, it's a little pouch. I'm not much of a bag girl. I like them, but... No, just like practically... I cannot believe you say that. No, I, I have a lot of bags. Not I'm not saying that. Why you say that. No, I'm not saying I don't have a lot of bags, but you get that I'm not like a bag girl. Like, people do videos like, what's in their bag? What is in my bag? What's Stuff in your it. bag? What's no, but that's what I was just going to show them. It's not normal stuff, bro. Like, trust. Oh, this one gives me a heater. No, he doesn't get it. Like, I'm literally not a bag girl. I own a ton of bags, and I appreciate bags, but, like, 90% of the time, will you catch me with a bag? Yeah. Clean, are you well? Yeah. Are you well? What did you wear yesterday? What did you take to dinner? To dinner, I always wear a bag, but do you Where know what you, was in it? What's that other bag you've been carrying around? That's the one where the keys were in the other day, because you took it with you to the to the to the uh, grocery store. 
the every bag. time you leave the house you have a bag no clean i don't you don't understand like people bring their bag to pilates and like girls have like certain stuff that stays in their bag like i'm not a bag yeah person. you're not you like okay it. okay you don't you don't have like a I would call it like a mommy bag. No, I don't. I'm literally not a bag person. Like, you're like, oh, you brought a bag to dinner last night. Like, yes, of course, because we went to a cute dinner and like... A different definition of bag, girl. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't You like it. to carry a bag. You like to carry a purse. No, I don't. I literally don't like hey, to carry There was carry three things. bags. I just brought up three bags from downstairs that you've been carrying around this week. No. But I did. he doesn't understand. And there's yes. another one downstairs. This is the bag that I wore to dinner last night because obviously we were going to a nice dinner and I get why bags are good, but can I just show you what was in it? Can I just show you what was in it? This is what was in it for all of dinner. Like, are you going to call I me a bag it. person? I get it though. I get when it. When my I bag looks like that inside, how long have I had this purse already? And I've worn it. I wore it to the nail salon. So because I wore it. No, I wore it to the nail salon because I feel so weird going there without a purse because I'm like, there's something wrong with me, but I don't like use the purse. You know what's in this bag? The stuffing. If you go <laughs> through 90% of my bags, they have the stuffing in them. Like, I'm not a bag person. I am a phony. You're a phony bag person. Yeah, because You're a there's phony not bag anything person. in them. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I do believe you carry purses. I do but because I have you're not, to. You're not like, what's in my bag? I got my lipstick, I got my chapstick, I got my... Yeah, like I do because I have to and I get that they make the look, but I actually don't like purses or like... Like I literally just like them as a piece of jewelry, but not really yeah. as a bag. Like it's so... I don't know how to explain it, but okay. maybe you guys... We gotta get going. We're gonna, get be We're, We're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. But I had... Well, because you just literally like started war. War. Please. That is true. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys what is actually in my bag today because it's so funny and weird. Um, like 90% of the time, I wouldn't even have a wallet in my bag, right? Which is again. I carry the wallet. Yeah, which is again like proof that I'm not a bad girl. But since we're going to be gone all day and we're going to an event tonight, I literally just put like my setting powder and my blush and two brushes and my lipstick in here. Like I'm basically using this as a makeup bag because I'm cracking. It's really cute. And then I think I'm gonna throw a blazer over top and then we're good. Pam, you know, Pam just freaking cute. yelled at MGK. Sorry. Pam MGK sorry. argument. This is, not, this is not the this is not an exact replica or example, but like I want people to be like in the drama. Like yeah. this is a little bit too prim and proper. Like the bell is yeah. not it, but like that's it drama. is it though. But it's not drama. Like I mean it is drama. And I like that. And I want yeah. people to bring it like that. We're planning Blake's wedding right now mm -hmm. and we're just on a dress rampage. Mm -hmm. She's looking for a second dress for herself today. Also like this drama. Like, this I is a like a scarf moment drama. This is think? a potential maid of honor. Wait, what's that second color? The second color is good. I like both, and do they have it in black too? Yeah, hey, you want to wear it? No, 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 no. No, it looks. No, but yeah, for looks good. for maid of honor, would you ever have it be black or no? So because it's black tie, I think a lot of people are going to be wearing like black suits and like black tuxes. So I don't. Want, you don't want like, it to be like lost, right? Okay, yeah. okay. But I love, but I love this one. Like if I was going to a black tie wedding, I think right. I'd wear this. But I need to be more drama. Yeah. Like I'm trying to go like a little crazy. Uh huh. You know, uh, that's what I, she asked for, you guys. Don't come for me yeah. when I show up at Blake's wedding and something crazy, mm -hmm. and you're like, mm -hmm. "How dare you wear yeah. that to someone's exactly. wedding?" I, she my, asked for it. My brother's wedding. People <laughs> oh, came for me. She looked. She came wore this me. dress. We'll put a picture right here. Mm -hmm. The for love and lemons iconic I dress. Can. And you know, haters are gonna hate. They will. But my my sister in law said, "Oh my god, you look amazing." Like, yeah, thank you. it's all that mad turs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting second dress for Blake today. Mm -hmm. Maid of honor. Uh bachelorette potentials. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I need I a have dress. A few. Like I'm like, okay. I have a lot. Okay, yeah. Honestly, Meshki's like the go-to for that. Oh, okay. So yeah. We're, we're having a girls' day here. And we're buying lots yeah. of dresses. Yeah. And Penelope's here too somewhere. Penelope is oh, she's probably in the front room waiting for her dad. Rude. It's fine. Okay. Oh. P's back. Yep. She wants to wear this dress. She wanted to be with the girls in Miami with yeah. this dress. Yeah. See through. That will look so cute on you, P. See, see a cute little pink belly? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, Michelle's here now, and she is hosting a cooking channel, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Look how cute she is. What are you yeah, making us? Yeah, <laughs> Literally, not... you are you are yeah. embodying oh, okay. it. <laughs> Green girls. Oh, I'm yeah. not green. Don't look over here. Um, matcha mint lemonade. I had mm. one at Elephant the other day. It was so refreshing that I was like, I need to recreate it. So I don't want the mint. So here we are. Okay. So you don't like mint? Yeah. You're not mm. like mint. Mm. Mm. Why? Mm. Mm. I don't it's know one of her things. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't like herbs? No, not really. The only herb I like is dill. No, I love not. dill. No, I will not. I will die for yeah. dill. Die on dill's okay. dill. <laughs> <laughs> Blake also doesn't like onions, strawberries. No, I like strawberries. Oh, oh. Onions, mushrooms, mint olives, so mint, like, like cilantro, like not. I mean, I get cilantro. Yeah. That one's off. Everyone hates cilantro. I like cilantro. I don't mind it, but a lot of people hate it. I know. That's like a DNA thing, though, yeah. you know? Soap. Like yeah. To okay, so we'll we'll do a little taste test soon. I swear I'm strong. And then You're the, the actual recipe will be on Michelle's highlights, probably. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hey. This one seems that like seems like your like top of your vagina would be out, no? Yeah. I don't think it might be. Yeah. This one is mint. That one does. Okay. Okay. Cheers, girls. Cheers. Oh, it really matches everything. No, oh, this is the exact color. I am matcha girl. Mmm, really good. Oh, I like it. Do you like it? Mm, I do like it. Let me show you the mint. Mm -hmm. I'm body one. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like a mango Arnold Palmer. Can you guys taste that? Mm -hmm. I don't taste the mango, way but that I... you every time, <laughs> every time you say you true. say something different. <laughs> Like mm. no, like every time I we should, eat something, you're like, does it like not mayo? taste? Yeah, I'm like, is, where's the lot? It's not wrong. <laughs> it's not right. You don't see the mango because like a normal Arnold Palmer wouldn't taste like this. Like it has to be some sort of tea that has like a oh. flavor in it. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? I do taste mango a little bit. You do. Mm -hmm. I like hyper. Taste no, buds. Mm -hmm. you do. All the time. Like if something And you say smell too. Yeah. Smell too. Mm -hmm. If something's like been by something else, I can taste it. I'll be like, yep. was this like next to Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weird. So is it delish though? Mm-hmm. Virginia. Lunch. 
Get a little <clears throat> gifting at lunch. Guys, that was so sweet. So I need a TikTok queen. Well, Clean just gave me a gift. We said that made us cry. I made a TikTok about it. Because I was like making a little, I was going to make a little vlog for TikTok. And so we were going to lunch and I was like, oh, let's like take a little, little video at lunch or whatever. And then he just gives me like the most touching sweet gift ever. So check out the TikTok to see what it's about. See how he made us cry. Yep. Also, shout out to my mom. She helped. Yep. And my dad. You made us cry. A family up here. You made us family cry in here. the best way. Oh. Anyhow. But yeah, so today's Valentine's Day. And we're just relaxing. We got Love and Kale coming over for dinner tonight. We're gonna do a little double date. Yeah. We're probably not gonna vlog. But I... Yeah, like last night I got like three clips of the hockey game. Yeah. But you might want to take pictures. That's how it goes. So we might... We'll just see. We'll just see how many how many forms of content yeah, are going you know, down. That's how we do. Um oh, yeah. also I feel like Arnold Palmer's give me heartburn kind of. Really? Do you feel like that at all? No. It was either that or the french fries. Probably the french fries. No, but I feel like it's not Arnold, Arnold Palmer's. Palmer. No, it's just tea. I know, but it's like and a lemonade. Acidic, right? Yeah, the lemonade maybe. But the lemonade's so sweet. But theirs is actually a little... I don't know. I can see that. I feel like there's something to it. I can see that. Might be the lemon. The lemonade. So yeah, we have been running around like crazy, y'all. I feel like we've been a little extra crazy lately. We have. Things um, are wild around here right now. But we wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys about like our reading material lately, actually. Which is something that I'm very passionate about. I've talked to you guys about books before on here. Since we tried the 75 hard challenge and we decided it wasn't right for us, you can watch that vlog if you want all of that info, but we really loved the reading aspect of that. So yep. we've been reading every night and there's two books that we've been reading. So we each finished one of them and then we did a swap. swap yep. And this is my second time reading both of the books. So if you can't tell what I'm getting at, these are Bible, law, Bible. correct. Like just, you know, that's, the, that's what they're uh, giving. This is doctrine. Is that a right, the right word? I don't know. I don't know that word. This is my constitution. What like Constitution. Just like serious. This is my bill of rights. This is, no, I don't like that one. My Bible, it's my constitution. It's my doctrine. It's my thesis for life. I don't know. These are very important books to me. Yeah. Basically, the books, I'm not going to hold hold out on you any longer, <laughs> are Ask and It Is Given and The Astonishing Power of Emotions. Mm -hmm. They're both by Abraham Hicks. And Jerry and Esther. Yeah. So Abraham Hicks is like the entity that speaks through Jerry and Esther Hicks, mm -hmm. who are a couple Jerry's has on actually sadly but yeah, it's kind of a unique it's yeah. definitely spiritual you gotta you gotta go google search a little bit about that to get like the info and all of that it's right working. and it explains it in the books and if you then read the books, them of course yeah. but I would just you know kind of start by saying it's a little more non-traditional and spiritual whatever than the average person yeah. is maybe used to so if you if you like that you might really like this if you don't it's probably not for you but you know it could be um, but yeah, so I want to tell them a little bit about... Yeah, so I started with The Astonishing Power of Emotions, which is really just a book and a guide to help get your thoughts going in the right direction. It's all about like upstream and downstream thoughts, like downstream thoughts being thoughts that are more positive and pointing you in the right direction. And upstream, which you don't want, would be like going against positivity and things like that. And I feel like the term upstream and downstream is best explained in this context by like downstream is allowing and mm -hmm. upstream is resisting resisting yeah so what i love about that book specifically actually both of these books is the lessons learned in these books are super applicable and almost so, tangible yeah. i guess i would say it's something you can practice yeah, like a lot of books at. that I read are just food for thought kind of, which is also great and I'm obsessed with 
any book, but these give you exercises and sort of just tangible daily things that you can really apply to your life in a way for me that feels so doable and mm -hmm. practical. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. It's not like, like changing your life and the way that you think and your perspective is a really big task to do, but the way that it's broken down in these books feels very doable to me. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's one of the best parts about them. No, it is. And the more you practice them, the easier it becomes. And like the more, the closer and closer you get to that like extreme downstream thought or, yeah. or just like going in that flow. Yeah. So. Uh, Delaney read Asking and Is Given, the other one, four or five years ago, probably, mm -hmm. and then gave it to me to read like an hour, or not an hour. <laughs> an hour later. An hour later. It's a 500 page book. No, a year, like a year later at some point, she was like, oh, you should really read this book. So we both read that, but then down the line, you read Astonishing Power Motion. I never read that. So mm -hmm. that's my first time reading it. Mm -hmm. But anyways. They are incredible books and I wanted to pick them back up because I knew, I always knew that I would go back to those books at some point and I actually reference them a lot in my day-to-day -day life when I'm like feeling a certain way or if I'm just looking for a little bit of advice or guidance or something, I'll just pick up one of those books, look for a spot that I highlighted, tap into that, but it had been, like Clayton was saying, a couple years since I read them and the last time that I read those books, I was in a really good place mentally and spiritually energetically creatively yes and things in my life were truly just manifesting one after the other yeah. and it was it was a really powerful time right and i don't think we touched on that asking it is given is really like a man how it's how to manifest your desires that book's mostly on manifesting and the astonishing power of emotions is based m more on how you process your thoughts or what you think about but that also has manifest in your life or like it has uh yeah implications on what manifests in your life they're very much the books and like all of their concepts are very much so intertwined so it's kind of like they're both about manifesting and they're both about emotions but one is a, a little more heavy on the manifesting part and one is a little bit heavier on the emotions, emotions but they yeah. complement each other really well and basically the emotions book is kind of giving you this really in-depth system and tools to get your emotions to a place where you can manifest the things that you mm -hmm. want in your life. And yeah. then Ask and It Is Given is a little bit broader. It's not as specific as The Astonishing Power of Emotions. They're just like super intertwined. They're basically the same thing, but I could read them a million more times. Yeah. It's fascinating, it's so inspiring, it's wonderful, and we decided to pick those back up instead of other books. At the beginning of Heart 75, so yeah. like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just like get back to a place emotionally, energetically, mentally, everything like we're saying, um, that we felt really good about, and those books have done amazing things for us before. So yeah. I feel like we've had such a nice experience yeah. doing it again. No, it's like, you read those books, you get the insight, you get your 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 head in the right space to, you know, attract certain things and realize what you're thinking about and what you can attract into your life. And I do feel like over the last month or so, there's been things popping up into our life that it's like, wow, okay, you know, we, we put in the work again, like we're seeing results. And it's something to do forever though as well and year in and year out. And But the reason why we picked it back up is just because maybe it had been a while and we had faded off the course a little bit or whatever and it was just time to refresh, you know? Right, it's like a, I think the principles of their teachings is like a pillar of our lives that we would like to keep always. And we just wanted to reconnect to it a little bit more and I'm so happy that we did because I feel such a shift from it mm -hmm. and like, I just feel like mental clarity and more in a flow creatively and personally and whenever we're like starting to vibrate on a lower scale, mm -hmm. I think we have these really great tools to at, quickly. Yeah, at top of mind to course correct and be like, mm -hmm. okay, nope, let's and we're we're in it together because we're both reading the books and the concepts together and I feel like it's just a really cool bonding thing too yeah. to like help each other grow in that and way and raise our vibrations so 
No, it's really cool. 12 out of 10 recommend both of these books. Yep. Like, if you are inspired or intrigued by this conversation at all, highly recommend reading both. I would probably read Ask and It Is Given first because it's yep. kind of the... It's the first one of the series. There's it's like three or four, yeah. And, and then read The Astonishing Power of Motion. There's also The Law of Attraction, which we just yeah. got. I think they have a couple books, a couple more yeah. books maybe. I would love to read them all, but yeah, that's just... Yeah, so that we wanted to share. Yeah. I'm sure there's people watching who haven't heard of them, so we yeah. want to share them with you guys. And I also feel like manifesting is such a personal thing too. It's obviously a personal belief at how you kind of frame it and see it, whatever. I think a lot of people, everybody feels differently about it or whatever. Yeah. And so whatever kind of sits true with you and feels like it resonates and how it makes sense to you is beautiful. If you want to talk about the universe, you want to talk about God, mm. you want to name things, whatever feels yeah. true to you, you know, that's totally your thing and more power to you. We have had so much success and joy and high vibrations from doing these exercises and manifesting. So yeah. we wanted to share working, our experience. Working from within. Oh, that's what I was going to note is the exercises and asking it is given there's like 25 exercises. So that's a cool like kind of handbook to have to yes. like refer back on and again, use just the really exercises. Applicable things that these kind of self-help books are giving you, which I think are so great. And they have truly worked for me time after time and done really great things for me from kind of top to bottom in my life. So mm -hmm. I can't recommend them enough. Can't. I am an Abraham Hicks stan. No doubt. Like, please. So, yeah. Ask and it is given. We just wanted to give you guys a little update because, you know, we're experiencing it and seeing so much positivity in our life lately. Yeah. So, we wanted to share those with you guys. Yeah. And if you guys like this and you want more little book chats, book reviews. You used, to do, them. You used to do them every once in a while. I think you've shared this. She's shared this one before. I might, a long time. Have, I might have. I'll share it again, probably. Share it and share it and share it and share it. Okay, I'm gonna go make pizza dough. We're doing homemade pizza tonight. I'm just in a glowing mood. You guys, third time in LA. This vlog. <laughs> this is pretty much an LA vlog. We're at Erwan right now. Got the strawberry glaze and Haley Bieber. It's really so good. It's to die for, right? It is so real. Like, so many things are overhyped. And probably a lot of people know this is overhyped, but I do I love it. I don't so be smitty. What are you doing today? What do you get a laser peel on my face? Laser peel vibes today. <laughs> Never done one before, huh? First time. a laser peel. Never done one before? No. I've never done a peel, actually. Not even a peel? Not, no, not like a. I'm just those Dr. Dennis Gross peels at home. So is your face gonna actually peel? Is it like one of those deals? Like, like Blake's done? It's gonna like sleep. Oh. Yeah. So you can't wear makeup for three days, right? I'm ready here first. Exciting stuff. <laughs> can't wait to see. Oh, yeah. What are the results really like? Good. I mean, you're burning off like, you're lasering off the like superficial layer of skin, so. It's gonna be like brand new. What's it do for, what does it do? What's the results? I think just like smooth, helps with hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, sun damage, you know, the whole. The entire. All the things I want. Everything you want for the skin. All the things I want. And you're supplementing with the strawberry glaze. Wow. What a day. A little bit of freckling that I kind of wanted to address. But not like the cute freckling the sun damage. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on my skin. I'm laughing because my hair was just like, looked so funny to me. I don't know. But I wanted to give you an update on my skin after the peel. This is the next morning. And honestly, my skin looks pretty normal. There's a little bit of redness and it's like a little bit dry because it's going to be like flaking off and stuff. But it's really not much at all. I feel like my neck, you can see it the most, like the redness and the track marks but my face is not that crazy. I will not be wearing makeup for the next three days. I'm just gonna let my skin chill um, as directed. 
by Dr. Nune. And then I'm gonna go back for my second treatment. So you're supposed to do three rounds to get the best results. I'm gonna go back for my second one in a month and then another one a month after that. So stay tuned. I'll share over on my Instagram as well as here on the vlogs. And I can't wait to see what it does. So yeah, it's gonna help with the pores, the texture, the brightness, the hyperpigmentation, all the things. It's just gonna give me like brand new skin because I'm basically burning it off. <laughs> but yeah, so stay tuned and. See you soon.